It's the best of British South Pole expedition. And the rationale is to use the established British route to the South Pole, which is opened up by Scott and Shackleton, which is the Beardmore Glacier. Uh, it isn't going from the edge of the, con of the um, ice shelf, but just the edge of the continent. So up the Beardmore Glacier and into the South Pole. So that's the route. It's to reclaim a record for Britain as well, which currently the Norwegians hold. And there's always been this sort of British-Norwegian rivalry, which I think is fantastically healthy. Um, and that's the record from the edge of the continent into the pole. So up the traditional British route to reclaim the record for Britain and to do it in style. I, I don't want it to just be six blokes off for a wheeze to the South Pole. That isn't the plan. Um, I, I want it to do good in the bigger context. We're, we're in talks with Help for Heroes, for example, to, to over the next 14 months to, to use this, even though it isn't a charitable event in its own right, but to use this as a, as a basis for awareness and therefore fundraising for Help for Heroes. We're going to manhaul all the way to the South Pole. So there's no dogs, no kites, nothing else. So uh, each man on a pair of cross-country skis and sometime crampons will pull behind them a sledge with about 100 kilograms of kit on the back. And obviously that'll decrease as we go along, as we eat the food. But we take our rubbish with us as well. When we're out there, which will be November 2010 is when we go, it'll be 100 years from the time actually Scott left Britain to go down there. So there's a nice sort of context of centenary uh, without that. I'm pretty sure the ice might get quite crowded in 2011 uh, when, when actually the, the race took part for, for Scott. Uh, there, there's a lot about what happened there, this element, the sort of tag of heroic failure, which I, I object to um, enormously um, because we've achieved so much as a small little island nation, uh, fifth largest economy still. Um, and you think about the scale of us to the world, it's incredible really on where we are. But I also think we're, we're the first people to knock ourselves. I think we should celebrate that you were pretty good. So for us, it's about the best of British being a concept here. We've got a great team of particular British kind of folk from all over Britain, actually. It's quite a nice little mix um, to, to do it in a very British way.